My name is Maria Whitty and I'm a German teacher at Colostra Breed, a secondary school in Enniscorthy. I teach three of the five first year classes and the focus of this particular unit of learning is to develop their writing skills. And rather than just doing what we would traditionally have done, just get them to write and write and write, um, I decided that to reinforce the core vocabulary, we would come up with something a little bit more dynamic. So I had um, an Austrian foreign language assistant and she introduced me to the idea of Stationenarbeit, which is basically boxes or pouches and they have different tasks in them. A couple of months ago, I got a request from a German student who needed to do a three month internship. She wanted to come here, so I said, yes, absolutely, would love to have you. And we discussed the particular um, needs of the first years with the, the new junior cert in mind. Um, and I said, well, you know, I really like the Station and Arbeit idea, but I think probably if we can keep them at the table doing different tasks, it might work out better. Okay, in der Spielbox gibt es unterschiedliche Übungen. Und wir wollen unsere Haustiere-Vokabeln üben. Haustiere, ja? Okay, also, jetzt machen, macht dann bitte die Box auf. Es gibt elf, elf Spiele. We thought about the different exercises that we could use to enhance their writing skills, which is the focus of the unit of learning. And we decided that um, as part of that unit of learning, um, reinforcing the core vocabulary would be really important. And we could come up with an awful lot of really fun exercises for that. So, in dem Umschlag gibt es die Anweisungen, ja? Das erklärt alles auf Deutsch und auf Englisch, was ihr machen sollt. So, was müsst ihr machen? Hier gibt es Scrabble-Steine. There are so many exercises out there and it took us a while to whittle them down um, but we came up with 11 that would be really, really workable and we got boxes to put them in. It, the exercises did involve uh, some investment in terms of, you know, the little Scrabble pieces and the whiteboards and the markers and um, the little erasers, you know, things like that. But uh, they will be able to be used for other exercises in the future. Tier, so dein Haustier oder ein ausgedachtes Haustier. So zum Beispiel mein Fantasietier. Ja? Und ähm, danach schreibt ihr über das Haustier. So these exercises in the, the Spielbox, the Games Box, will cater for lots of different types of learners. So there'll be those who are into spatial, um, they've got their skills are spatially oriented linguistic, mathematical, um, you have intrapersonal, interpersonal and you also have the, the kinesthetic learners and each one of those exercises will tick those boxes at some stage or another. One of the huge benefits of those boxes is that it's very differentiated so everyone can choose whatever they think works best for them. So if they're a little bit more active they can act out animals, they can have role plays or um, some others that are maybe a little bit more quiet, they can do more individual work, so that's really, really good. Simply for the boxes, we decided it would be simple, simpler, easier for the, the students to identify themselves as, a, as a, a little group if they had one box per four. So we just rearranged the tables, it only took five minutes. We left the students to form their own groups, and the reason for that is, is that the activities are designed so that they suit different levels of proficiency. Um, they, they're designed um, based on what they've already learned in class and they're also um, designed to be fun. Within each box there are whiteboards, whiteboard markers, an eraser, there's a list of instructions for each of the 11 different activities. Um, we colour printed them and we laminated them and cut them out and it did take a while but they will be used by other the other two first year classes and they will be used for posterity. Each and um, There are 11 envelopes and within each envelope you have a list of instructions and you have the cards or whatever you need to play the game um, or do the exercise. So there's a pouch um, in the classroom where all the solutions are in, in the pouch and they have to get up and they have to go. So it involves student reflection as well. They can see where they went wrong, where they maybe need to watch out, you know, what their strengths are and maybe what they need to work on and what they need to improve on. So then liest du dir das einmal durch 
Und dann, bist du bereit? Sehr gut. It's fun. It's easy for the teacher because all you're doing is encouraging and monitoring and prompting and, you know, helping out if there are some misunderstandings with the uh, instructions. But for the, the kids, there is a lot involved. You know, they have to manage their time, their thinking, their predicting, their adding, their reading, their listening, their speaking. So one class may be enough. It depends on the group that you have. But certainly there's enough material there for two. I can definitely see them being more confident while using the language, especially with all the acting out and describing. And I can also see that they remember their vocabulary a lot more, so that's really good. We were opening boxes that had loads of activities where we were like learning German and they were like games and things and they were really fun. They were all different to each other and you had a good variety. I like the headbands because we got to act out the animals. And it was fun as well, so that was really nice. My favourite activities would be uh, ones involving the phones. My favourite phone activity was the charades. I think the fantasy pets were my favourite because I really like drawing and coming up with a pet is fun. I really like having the option of what I want to do and who I get to work with. It's much easier to learn as a group. Like they're kind of reminding me of like all the vocabulary and things and it kind of just sinks in after a while. It's easy to remember things after doing them. Like it's good for like pronunciation and stuff as well. And my vocabulary has gotten better as well. I really think it's helping me with my German. I would advise um, teachers to plan it for sure. It's an, it's an absolutely brilliant activity. Um, the, the, the students become learning resources for each other. They self-assess, they peer assess. I mean, it ticks so many different boxes. For the teacher, once the planning and the boxes have been put together, your work is almost over. You're walking around the classroom, you're seeing them in action, and it, it's very rewarding uh, to see them understanding what to do, getting, you know, enjoying what they're doing.